We're following breaking news overnight of a Microsoft outage impacting people really all across the globe. It's disrupting airlines, airports, banks, and media companies, including right here at home. Yeah, it's just a mess. American Airlines says they're no longer dealing with issues and their flights are resumed as planned. But we're told no United or Delta flights will take off until that ground stop is lifted. CrowdStrike, the U.S. cybersecurity company, has admitted to being responsible for the error and are working to correct it. The outage is not believed to be a result of a hack or any malicious action. So what are we seeing here at home? Let's take a live look at the Salt Lake Airport this morning. It looks like business as usual, but really that is not the case once you get through security. So when that first outage was reported, Utahns flying in and out of Salt Lake City were delayed about an hour and a half. But now the wait time appears to have gone down a bit, but we did speak with a Utah just a few minutes ago who tells us he's been stranded there overnight. He's trying to make it to Dallas, Texas in time for his nephew's wedding. But now with multiple delays already and even more probably on the way, he's not going to get there in time. But listen to how he describes the conditions there once you get past security. When I got here this morning, I noticed uh, all the people that they were just sleeping on the floors on the hallways. There you go. That's proof. Sergio says his flight to Dallas now gets in at 3.20 this afternoon. The wedding, though, is at 1 p.m. He says he understands it's out of the airline's control, but definitely a bummer. Also, a lot of people, he tells us, are upset. They're lashing out at those TSA agents. They brought in more Salt Lake City police officers to try and keep everyone calm as they work to figure this out. But so many people impacted this yeah, morning. I think it's important to note, too, as well, a lot of those TSA agents, they don't really have control over this as well. So there's only so much they can do, too, in trying to help help people get on flights and things like that, but definitely a mess and something you don't want to be involved in today. Yeah, and Sergio wants anyone who may be traveling today headed to the Salt Lake Airport, make sure you are checking your airline's flight information before you go there because just like him and so many others, it's probably delayed or impacted in the slightest bit and you don't want to be there stranded for too long. Yeah, and of course, stay with us. We'll continue to keep you updated on if anything changes throughout the rest of the morning.